Hello and welcome to Jimster 586's Computer Destruction Shop. Today we have a hard drive for you. An old IDE hard drive. Takes these old pin connectors here. This is an obsolete computer hard drive and we're going to um, dismantle it. I'm going to try and do it for you right here on camera. Let's take it apart, shall we? Let's see how much damage we can do. For those of you that may have never seen the inside of a hard drive, put the screws in my pocket so I don't lose them. Try and do this through the camera screen so it's a little awkward. This uh, came out of a computer, of course, and the easiest way to prevent identity theft or compromise your personal information is to do none other than destroy the drive. Can't get information off of a drive that's told out. So that's what we're going to try and achieve here. There's three screws out. Should have loosened these out before I started the video, but what can you do? Come on. There we go. Dismantle ourselves a hard drive. There's four screws. So this is taking a minute to do. Like I said I'm trying to see what I'm doing through the camera screen here. And we're, what we're going to try and do here is we're going to open this drive up and then we're going to start it. Get you a startup here on video. Yeah, if I, uh, come on. There we go. Alright. Screws are out. Now comes the fun part. Getting inside the drive here without destroying it. I expect it to run again, so I don't want to break it apart. Alright. Plan B. Probably while I switch blades here. Ah. I do have oops, a computer power supply with electric, and I'm going to try and start this for you. Hello, Oreo. Meow. A random cabbage there. Back the camera up well. There we go. Now, let's see if we can get inside this hard drive. As I say, I don't want to completely destroy this. I may have to stitch this together in two pieces. I don't want to trash the drive because I expect it to run again. I'm not going to put it back in a computer, but I expect to do some uh, other interesting things with this drive. And I have two others that I'm going to abuse similarly. Again, best way to save your or protect your data from other people, destroy the drive. So that's going to be it for this portion, and we'll see if we can stitch these together once I get this drive apart. Uh, hard drive destruction. This did not work the way I had in mind. It came apart in two pieces. As you can see, the uh, controller here is totally shot. <laughs> when I pried it apart, it didn't come apart the way I wanted it to. So there's the bottom of the drive. I don't know what would happen if I energized this, besides probably not much, or it might go arc spark don't know. And this is the top of the drive. As you can see there's the the platter where your data is stored. It's a single platter drive. There's the drive arm. This is what reads and writes the data right there. I don't recommend tearing your drive apart unless you have no plans of using it again. That's for sure. <laughs> Like I said, I have no idea what would happen if I were to plug this in right now to this power supply. Not quite sure. I want to find out. Zzz. Hi, Oreo. So that's kind of what I have for you. I'm hoping to do some interesting things with these drives. I have two more drives that are waiting to be destroyed. I'm hoping I can have a little fun, but 
depends on how well they come apart. Obviously not in two pieces like this. This was not quite the plan. I wanted one piece so I could energize it and have it start up for you. But that didn't work. So we'll call this an epic fail on my part. And that's going to be about it. Thanks for watching.